So everything's greased. I'll give you a quick overview of what I did. So you have a grease point here. You have a grease point here, a uh, dessert fitting. I, I put my grease point at the bottom and now I'm able to reach it. And same thing you'll notice with your valve stem if you have to put air in it. I'm running 20 PSI now. I hope that's gonna fix the uh, issue. I think I was running my tires too low. Uh, I jacked up the front with a, uh, a jack and a block of wood right here. And that way I can get to the other side, grease here, and then there's another one somewhere in here too. Might be on the other side. Uh, I go ahead and take me some WD-40 and I just hit anything that moves. All these points, there's no grease points here. But I just hit all those. Uh, we had a zert fitting here. That's for your spindle. Take this off. And then you have a zert fitting there for another spindle. And that's really the only thing you have to do over there. While we're over here, you'll see a zert fitting here and a zert fitting there. Uh, then I go ahead, like I said, WD-40, just hit the spray, all my, any points that move, all right here. Uh, I do the same thing over here. As you can see, we got another zert fitting here, there, and there. So then if you go under your deck here, I usually just take it, lift it, I screw it over, it props it up. Uh, it took almost probably 50 or 60 pulls to get it, but you can see the pop out valve there where it starts, the grease will shoot out. Once it is full, same thing over there. Let's see if I find my finger, see it right there. And on the other one, you have to be, it's actually facing the other side so you can't see it from this side. So that works out because you got your deck on high settings. You'll see it. I just keep go, doing WD-40 all the way around here. No more points though. We'll lift the seat. Uh, I did get the owner's manual. I could not find any more points, but I did just a light coating of just WD-40 on everything that moves. And um, that's pretty much it for your Zert fittings. And like, like I said, confirming it with the owner's manual. But as you can see, it does look a lot better. I haven't cleaned our seat yet. Uh, probably should have threw some WD-40 down here. I think I'm out though. Let me see. Uh, because we want this stuff to... And I'm not really worried about not like being messy with it, be truthful, because if I put a coating on something, what is it going to do? Just last? So, we just want everything to just get a nice coat. Nothing crazy. Uh, we'll put some right here. Okay. So next, we're, I feel pretty good about greasing. I greased my shocks. I got all under it. I greased all our mechanisms in here, which is probably going to stink once it starts burning, but I'd rather it be greased or not. We back this other shock. Just run all the way through it. So now we're going to do an oil change. Here's our, our drain. It's really supposed to, I think, go under here. Something to that effect. And then you open it and let it drain. Sorry, uh, right like that or there. I don't know if it'll go in there or not. Nah. So I'm going to jack the back of it up, get a jack stand, and start draining this. And then I'm pretty sure it takes one whole jug here. And uh, I'll get the owner's manual and double check that. Because last time I tried to use a dipstick, it takes it so long to like level. Just put what it's recommended and move on. Okay, that's a good uh, big stopping point. Let's check our hydraulic fluid. See, that one's full cold, cold, but we're on a hill. I don't know if I see much at all. It might could use a little bit. It says use 20W50 on the white tag there. So, might have to get a little bit. All right. Uh, let's get the oil changer.